hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back if you haven't subscribed already thank you for hitting the subscribe button today i'll be driving around the city of suva fiji while i tell you what it's like living in the pacific island country of fiji there's currently some kind of lockdown right now because we are experiencing like a second wave of uh, covid19 so somehow i took advantage of the empty street so i could give undiluted like an undiluted experience of the streets right now um once in a while the videos could be shaky so if you experience or see that apologies for that in advance um my phone holder was kind of shaky at the point and then there are some points where the roads are not perfect and so you're going to experience that in the future so i apologize for that meanwhile fiji island is a country in the oceania region and it is close to australia new zealand papua new guinea new caledonia and all of you know the other countries around that area tonga samoa and the rest and it is made up of over 300 islands in fact a lot of the islands are actually uninhabited yep fiji is known for its tropical beauty the blue skies the beaches the luxury resorts the unique landscapes you know all of that stuff so fiji is that place once you think about elopement once you think about destination weddings beach weddings and all of that fiji is one of those destinations that you know these kind of things um occur tourism was or is their major um backbone that's like the major sector in the country where it was really really hit by the pandemic so right now the tourism sector was one of the sectors that was hit the most now let me give you like a very funny story I never knew that Fiji was a country like I thought it was just one island in Australia or one one island in one country close to Australia or something until I actually found that I was a country and when we had the opportunity to like go there and you know we had mixed thoughts and all of that but we just decided to try it out you know what's the worst that can happen at least that it will be an experience it is quite a small country with just over 900,000 people. I know. Yeah, I think. Yeah. The people are really friendly. But well, you know, they just have to, you know, tourism. So they are made up of three major ethnicities. They have the local Fijians, um, which are, who are the Italkes. We have, they also have the Fiji Indians or Indo-Fijians who um, are Indians, Fijians of Indian descent. Let me use that word. And then they have other people called Rotomans. And then it's also a very, very multiracial country as well. So you could find a lot of um, Asians and Europeans and all of that, you know. But then one ethnicity or race you don't usually find there as much as Africans so the Africans they are kind of few um, yeah so look at that sunset like the sunset here hits different that is just one thing I like about here you know with the trees and the silhouettes effects and all of that it's really beautiful English is the official language alongside two other national languages which are Italke and uh, Fiji Hindi. The two biggest islands are Viti Levu and Vanua Levu. The capital city which is Suva which I am driving through along or among other cities are in Viti Levu and then there are other you know islands smaller islands but these are the two biggest islands and so because of these everywhere you find yourself it's like some sort of island or whatever and yes we see the ocean at almost every turn we see the sea you know it's like right now you're looking at that's the sea that's the sunset 
and you you know there are just so many places you could just go by you see the sea you just see a view have a view and all of that so i think a lot of people um love that for love here for that the natural beauty of it all yeah Fiji is not that urban, so you don't get to see the typical city lifestyle here because it is also a developing country. They are really invested in their culture and that's one thing I love about them and I really applaud them for that. In fact, I, I think that's one of the reasons that they thrive well with their tourism. Um, I will really not talk about the cost of living because it, it, it differs according to individuals but I'm just here to give you my own account of my experience in Fiji, our experience in Fiji you know, from my own perspective. It could be different from other people. From time to time I could post videos of other experiences while exploring different locations and maybe anything that you guys request of me. So if there's anything you want to know, um, you can, any question, you can just put it in the comment section below. Um, if it's something I can answer, I would answer you. If it's something I cannot, then I will either direct you to where you could get that answer or plainly tell you that I do not know. So far, Fiji has been okay. There are major differences I have encountered, but the major difference is that it is quite peaceful. I wouldn't say that it doesn't have crime. Yes, because like every location, every place on earth, there's always a good and a not so good side of it. Um, there's also crime here, um, but it is peaceful and I can guarantee you that. Sometimes I feel like it is a little too laid back for what I am used to being a Nigerian, being an African. You come from a place where it is always hustling. There's always hustle. There's always bustle. The people are very entrepreneurial. Um, there's always something going on somewhere, but it's not really, you know, it's, it's a little laid back here in Fiji. In fact, once it's a particular time at night, you hardly see people on the streets. Yes, that is how family oriented they are. Um, but hey, we are here and we've not died. Um, yeah, but then just to put this disclaimer, this is just my experience. This is just the, the view of Fiji from my own perspective. It could be different for other people and whatever they experience or encounter is very, very, very valid. I do not have any information or know anything that has to do with migration or anything. So, but then still you could ask your questions and you could be directed to whoever or wherever you could get that information. So, um, there's this, <laughs> there's something that's a culture shock. I wouldn't, I don't know whether to call it a culture shock, but then it is like, it was very surprising to know that guns are really, really illegal in Fiji. That even the police people don't use guns. Yep. So a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people who say they don't like that. Yeah. But then, you know, I think we loved that about here because then you would not experience any kind of gun violence. So yes, it was a plus for them. For the weather... The weather is quite wet here in Fiji. It rains it's like it's all year rainy season. But then the difference could be the um, clim uh, weather, the climate temperature or something. So even in the winter period, it's raining. Even in the hot season, it's raining. So yeah. So yes, this is all I could talk about today. The next time I'm going to maybe do something else while I talk about um, other experiences or culture shocks or definitely experiences. So until I come your way next time. Bye.